Hello guys, it's Delta249er here with my Flight Simulator X settings and also some tips for better performance. So first thing you see here is I have an NVIDIA GTX 560, um, GeForce GTX 560, same thing. And for some reason when I update the driver, I've, there's two of them that come up, but it's a single GPU card and I only have one of them. Uh, so yeah, and with this you want to use your best card, um, unless they're the same, then use your secondary because the first, the main one is probably being used by other things anyway. So yeah, uh, target frame rate I have at 60 because that's what I can achieve a steady rate at. Um, I record at 30 here. Um, and my tip for this is put on at unlimited, see what your average is, and whatever your average is, put it five less than that. So say your average is 35, put it at 30. Um, and you should be good. Unless you get lower than 20, I would just put it at 20 because there's no point. Um, so you just, that's a little tip. And full screen resolution, I have it 1920 by 1080 because that is my main screen's resolution. And, uh, I use 32-bit color. 16-bit color is better per, for better performance. Um, but I don't have much of an issue, so I just have 32-bit color, and it doesn't even look that much better, so I don't know. Um, filtering, I have an anastrophic, and this one you're going to have to test out. Uh, this one is the crispest to me, or on my computer, and it works fine, so I use that. And, um, anti-aliasing, I would, I have on, but if you can put it on your NVIDIA control panel, uh, or whatever ATI's thing is called, the can what is it, catalyst or something like that. Um, then I would put that on on there instead of this uh, because it looks better. But I can't get my Nvidia control panel on, so uh, open. So uh, I'm just turning it on in here. Global options, and I would turn it. Sorry, I would turn it off if you want better performance. Global options, global texture resolution at very high, and uh, for better for performance put it at high or medium would work and uh, preview DirectX 10 I have off lens flare I have on light bloom I have off and advanced animations I have on uh, preview DirectX 10 it's glitchy does not really function correctly and uh, that's why I don't use it it looks nice but it's it just doesn't function right Lens flare I have on. It looks cool. Doesn't really affect my frames too much. But for better performance, turn that off. Light bloom I don't have on. It affects me by like 10 frames, which wouldn't be a big problem for me. But I also don't like the look of it. It's kind of I don't know. It just doesn't seem realistic to me for some reason. Uh, so I have that off. Advanced animations. That's kind of a requirement if you want um, flaps and jetways and stuff. So I have that on. Informational text. That's your choice. But I have it on continuous. Aircraft. Default cockpit view. I have it on 3D virtual cockpit. That's also your choice. Um, basically, when you load up, it, if you want um, your 2D instrument panel to come up rather than your 3D virtual cockpit, you can check that. And show cockpit tooltips. I have off. I don't need them. My textures are clear enough, and I know where everything is, so I don't really need to um, use that. High resolution 3D virtual cockpit looks makes it look pretty nice, so um, I use that instead of it or it's on I guess. Um, 2D panel transparency I have to zero that's your choice it just uh, if you wanna I don't know it's easier to see when you're landing or something you can see right through your 2D panel so I don't know if you want that that's your choice. Um, exterior settings aircraft cast shadows on the ground and aircraft cast shadows on itself those can affect performance a lot. Uh, this, the shadows on the ground one, is realistic because you can see uh, when you're landing. You know, you can see going over the. Um, if you're going over water, it looks pretty cool and stuff. So I have that on, and um, also aircraft cast shadows on itself. I have on, but it, per, for better performance, I would turn both those off. And aircraft landing lights illuminate ground. If you do night flying, that's kind of a requirement because. Um, you can see the runway a lot better so that I have on. I have all three of those checked. Scenery, um, I have it all max except for these two things and I don't have that checked. Um, but level of detail radius, I have it large and if you're having crashing issues I would put this down at small. It should fix some of them. There's other issues with it too but um, 
but yeah, I have that at large. Mesh complexity, I have all these are at max, I guess. Um, but my tip for these three, the mesh and texture resolution, um, put them at like halfway. So like that, or maybe even um, here. It, you know, put them at around halfway for better performance. Um, and water effects, now people say that max 2x and low and 2x and high 1x look the same. I don't really think so, but they do look pretty good. Low 2x and high 1x do look pretty good. So if you want better performance, that better performance, they need to put it at high 1x or low 2x and you will get pretty good looking water. Land detail textures I have on, I can see a little bit of a difference. Um so if you want better performance, obviously turn that off. Um it's not doesn't make a big difference. Scenery objects, I have scenery complexity at very dense and auto gen density at dense. Now, this extremely dense for both of them looks really unrealistic to me, so I have them down here. Um, for better performance, put these either at both at dense or normal, or you know, um, dense and normal would be good. Ground scenery shadows, that puts shadows on trees and houses and buildings. I don't have that on, it looks kind of strange to me, and it really does affect your performance. Um, special effects detail, I have on high. And for better performance, I'd put it at medium. Um, but yep, I have that on high. Weather, I have cloud draw distance to 60 miles. And really, can you see more than 60 miles? I don't really think so. Maybe you can, but um, that's why I have it at the lowest. Because I don't need it loading clouds 110 miles away. So yeah, I have it at 60 miles. Thermal visualization, I don't even know what this is, but um, I have... I, I think it has to do something with like the pattern, the weather patterns and stuff, but uh, I have it on natural, I'm still testing that one out. Simulation settings, download winds aloft data with real world weather, I have checked, um, because I do like the wind weather when it downloads the real world weather, it'd be kind of nice. Disable turbulence and thermal effects on aircraft, I have unchecked, because I do think turbulence makes it interesting. Um, so yeah, I have that unchecked. Rate at which weather changes over time, I have it very high, but my suggestion is either put it at like medium or low, or no change even. So maybe these bottom three um, for better performance. And cloud detail, I have a detailed clouds and maximum coverage density. Also, better performance, either put this at low or simple clouds also. But yes, I do have this on maximum here. And last thing, traffic. Our, yeah, airline traffic density all of these are at zero now basically this is like the worst thing when it comes to performance it uh, lowers your frames so much and uh, also I am a big multiplayer flyer so I uh, basically don't even need all the airline traffic and uh, yeah so I have all these down zero I do turn them up a little bit if I'm doing a video for that but um, yeah, so aircraft labels, I have all these checked and red and then one. This is your choice. It just puts labels above the aircraft. And I do ATC, so it's kind of helpful for me. Um, so yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below. And make sure you leave a like and favorite this video. And also, if you are not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe for more Flight Simulator, Minecraft, Terraria, reviews, and more tutorials. Thanks for watching.